Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking. Maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. Come on! <laughs> I what did I know? Finish, you know? Tommy? Come on, yeah. Boss face. is waiting for you. Thanks. There he is. Sorry I'm late. Take a seat. That's collection day, boys. So, Tommy, you'll drive? Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Now, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just wants to tell you something. Hey, just the guy. I saw this, and I thought of you. You ever carried a rod? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right, that don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Good posture, real mean. Bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay, now show me. Not at me. I right, open the chamber and away you go. All right, last thing needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind something and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you, it's Finney. Look, you guys need to be careful today, okay? I spoke to Biff. He said Morello's still dead since he lost the car. You, you, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And an afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Hmm. Come on, Tita Tommy. Show me what you can do. Okay. It's a car. You got it. Have a good day, Buffa fellas. First we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha, not so little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. That's good to hear, Al. Real good. 
Now he's got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Now, I know you've never hold out. Where's the money? Ron, fetcha! Voici succhiate in sangue! It's on the table, brown envelope! Via di qui! Lasciateci in pace! I got it. We'll see you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. <laughs> and give our best to your ma, huh? It uh, was a real pleasure meeting you. Okay, next up we got old Eugene's place. China store up. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam, he needs to let it out on his own. She's got to let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Got to let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, the guy ended up in a wheelchair. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Christ, Paul! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Denzel, they're trying to beat information out of him. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay, okay, just hang on. Kill 
treats me like some guy. <laughs> says we don't want a war. Not yet. This don't feel like a war to you? Running for cover! went to work on you, buddy. Christ! Come on. You'll be all right. You're tough as nails! Oh, shit. Oh, he's got the money, Tom! Oh, catch the bastard! Where is Sam? He's okay. Inside. Go get the money!
That was when I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. Huh. I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Paulie and Sam are coming around the corner, what are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn 10. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy, he scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You drive with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Tom, Tom Morello, I, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. The grills are bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin. I got. Spun your tail, pal. You got an informant right there says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Morello left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I don't square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Well, maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, huh. have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We're running booze, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect, small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. <laughs> 